Welcome to Ecoholics. I am Sanat Shrivastav and in this lecture we will discuss about some important books that you must read before taking economics as an optional subject in UPSC Civil Services examination. Now starting with the discussion of the books that is the main reference books for your optional preparation. Now you know that optional plays an important role in the mains examination of UPSC because in optional if you have 500 marks that is the 500 marks of two paper that is 250-250 each you have two optional paper you have to score 300 plus in order to see your name in the final list. So what we need to understand is the perfect source. Now what I am recommending here is not the absolute. If you have read any other book, you can also make that particular book as your main source book and the other books around it as the reference book. Now what you have to do because you have certain topics mentioned in the UPSC syllabus because UPSC gave only two sources that is the syllabus and the second one we have is the question paper. So what you have to do you first jot down, jot down the topics mentioned in the syllabus and you just have to correlate with the particular book. Now we start with the concept of the microeconomics because generally people start with microeconomics that's the point of the basic economics. If suppose you are not from economics background, you should have read the 11th and 12th class NCRT, especially the 12th class NCRT of micro and macroeconomics. Like for general studies, you must have read that 12th class NCRT, but for economics as an option, you must ha have to read this 12th class microeconomics NCRT for your basic concepts. Apart from this, if you start a discussion with the first, that is the microeconomics, in syllabus it is referred as the advanced microeconomics so what you have to do the best book for this is HL Ahuja advanced microeconomics there's one book a thick book it is now what how you have to read this HL Ahuja first of all like if you see this particular book it is a quite bulky book but don't um, be scared with the size of this particular book what you have to do you have to find out the topics mentioned in the syllabus and you just stick on this particular index of this book now what you have to do you have to read the topics only which are coincidence or which are in coincidence with the particular topic as well as the index of this book now this book is actually written elaborately so Particularly, we can say this uh, under this book, if you read a particular topic, you will find that there are certain kind of a repetition. So this particular book can be cut down to one third of its size. But if you are a beginner, if you are starting reading microeconomics and that is the best book to read from that. Now, what you have to do, you just have to mark the topic that coincides with the syllabus. So HL Auja is the best thing if you have. Now for the next one that is the macroeconomics. Now people are saying that there are HL Auja available for macroeconomics as well. There are books like Richard Freon, there are books like Don Bush and Fisher. So we people are saying that the best book for is is Richard Freon. But this books generally do not cover whole of the syllabus. So what you have to do, you have to refer some other books for the certain topics, certain small topics in order to cover the particular portion of macroeconomics. Because this includes, this macroeconomics includes certain topics of the basic, that is the Keynesian theory, the classical theory, etc. So what you have to do, you have to read thoroughly this particular book. This book carries around 200 to 300 pages. So it's quite manageable. If you want to read, if you uh, have, if you face certain kind of difficulties, you can always contact me. Uh, so if you have any doubt, you can mention in the comment box. I'll tell you how to read a particular book before taking the optional. Now the third one for public finance. Because in uh, the syllabus of the optional, we ha they haven't mentioned separately this public finance, money and banking. So here for public finance, there's one book known as Musgurav and Musgurav. So here, this particular book is the best book, but this is written from the foreign author's perspective. So if you do not able to understand this particular book, you can also refer HL Bhatia. This is a book written from India's perspective. So according to me, 
this book is relatively uh, beneficial in comparison to the first one but you can refer any of these because the concepts given in these books is fantastic you will not find anywhere else like these concepts For growth and development, there are two books, most famous two books like Todaro and Thrillwall. So these developmental economics, generally people refer Todaro and Thrillwall. So you can refer either of these. You just go to a bookshop and you just flip the pages. So whatever you will feel comfortable, you will refer this particular book. Now I would say that you should refer AP Thrillwall. This is a book which has been written comprehensively but you have to again pick certain topics that is coincide with this particular economics optional subject now apart from this we have the another that is international economics for international economics there is only one book that's a perfect book known as the dominic salvatore and this is a bible for international economics I think this is the perfect book to read for international economics and all the topics mentioned in the syllabus of economics optional must coincide with this Dominic Salvatore. So these are the few we can say examples of the how to prepare for this particular subjects and apart from this you know, for monetary economics you have certain other uh, books like we have HL Auja. For macroeconomics, there is another book of the same author, H. L. Auja, comes in the form of macroeconomics, and you can refer this book for certain monetary economics topic mentioned in the syllabus of economics optional. Now, this we had discussed about the paper one. Now, if we want to discuss about paper two, so what you have to do for paper two? Now paper 2 is we can say if you see the syllabus you will find that paper 2 is relatively easy because the topics mentioned in the paper 2 is on the eyes we can say these are relatively easier in comparison to the paper 1. But let me tell you you should focus 60% of your time on paper 1 because there is a big opportunity to score pretty well in paper 1 in comparison to the paper 2 because the writing of the answers in the examination in paper 2 is very very tricky so for paper 2 there is no perfect book so i would say that you should refer uma kapila so that is for indian economy Uma Kapila is the best book to refer this and that is Indian economy since independent that's a thick one around 1000 pages. So you must read this particular Uma Kapila and this is very very vital. Apart from this, apart from this you have to read the newspaper frequently and you have to refer the Hindu as well as the Indian Express both especially the business pages and the articles which covered economics. So here this is the preparation for paper 2 and if you have certain topics like before independence you can refer from any of your history book. So that is the best benefit. So you just uh, see the topics like drain theory like the contribution of Dada Bhai Noraji, Vakil, Brahmananda, Dista. So you will find the historical books or the books of your modern history. So you will find these type of so for paper 2 it's a bit tricky so you must read the newspaper and you have to follow newspaper there are certain magazines as well people are saying that you should refer APW magazine that is economic and political weekly and people are saying that you should refer other magazines as well so do not go for many sources just be make sure that you should have all the topics covered mentioned in the syllabus so most of the topics you will uh, be you will be able to cover from the Uma Kapila and other current aspects so you have to put in some ingredients from the current aspect that is the newspaper so the Hindu Indian Express the business page of both these newspaper so we are having this economics optional course on our mobile app of Ecoholics if you are interested you can visit this particular mobile app and that link is given in the description of this video. If you have any doubt, any query, you can also visit our website that is ecoholics.in although the link is given in the description. You can also have or you can also directly talk to me on my number, WhatsApp number that is also given in the description of this video. 
So I hope if you have any doubt still after this video, you can mention in the comment box. So I hope you like this video. Uh, give a big thumbs up because it takes a lot to make videos for you. And here we can say that if you uh, give a big thumbs up, that is a very motivating factor for me. And if you like this particular video, please share with your friends and also subscribe. Also subscribe this particular Ecoholics so that you'll get the new and new videos regarding economics optionals. So I hope you like this. Have a nice day. Thank you so much.